back to my channel. If you haven't already, please make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps my channel grow and lets me know that you guys are liking the videos that I am putting out. So today I am going to do a meal prep Monday video. Um, Sundays and Mondays I'm usually a relaxed day. I, you might have like a personal training client or two on those days, but usually I prep for Jimmy and myself um, on those days. Today I prepped for myself. Oh, I wanted to show you guys that and maybe it'll give you guys some ideas because I don't um, prep like a lot of people do. I don't make bulk meals of like one certain meal. I prep, um, you know, a couple different proteins and um, some vegetables and a couple different snacks and some carbs. Then that way I can mix and match and make different meals out of things. Um, so I'm not eating the same thing and getting sick of it. Um, and then I pack my, or I get my snacks ready as well. So then that way, um, when I'm having long days, I'm not, um, you know, it's not to where I don't have anything to eat. So then at the end of the day, I'm gorging myself. I eat um, consistently through the day. And then that way in the evening, I don't feel the urge to want to eat, 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 eat. In the past, I had a huge problem with that. And I know a lot of my clients tell me the same thing. They get home and they're exhausted and they just find whatever they can and just start throwing it in their mouth. They're hungry from the day. They've been stressed out. They're overwhelmed and that's their comfort. So, um, I'm going to show you guys, um, uh, my meals that I would take and give you guys some like, um, uh, ideas of how I prep them because it's like I have hamburger and then I have chicken thighs and then, you know, I have spaghetti squash and zucchini and I have, um, bonds of pasta and rice. So I take that thing, those things and make different meals. I might make like a Mexican type bowl or I might just do vegetables, rice and a chicken thigh. So that way I have different options. Um, so I'm not eating the same thing and getting sick and tired of it. Um, I'm really busy. I take a lot of food with me in a day when I when I go to work. Um, sometimes I eat it all. Sometimes I don't. It just depends on the day. Um, and if I'm hungry, if I'm hungry, I'm going to eat. <laughs> so um, I make sure that I have good, healthy choices throughout the entire day. Um, my days, like I said, are really long. So in the morning, I get up at 5, 5.20ish and I cycle it, cycle and I do um, mobility type work. So that's about an hour and then I come up and I uh, chat with Jimmy before he goes to work and then I get myself ready for work. I pack my lunch and I'm out the door um, anywhere from 8.30 to 10 in the mornings for work. I go and I do hair. I might have a personal training client in the morning before I go to work, it just depends work all day i get off i have um, a personal training client i usually do in the evenings um, sometimes two personal training clients so it just depends um, and then i teach class for an hour so i don't get home until late so that way i have um, my stuff prepped um, the kids stuff ready for jimmy so all he has to do is heat it up it makes it easier for him if i'm going to be home late so um I hope this helps you guys and inspires you guys to try meal prepping yourself or try this type of meal prepping. Um, I personally like it so much better than one strict meal. So um, I hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, here I am cutting up some vegetables for the week. That's my peppers that I'll be using some plain Greek um, yogurt with the ranch pack for dip. So I just cut those up. I have already washed them and I'll just slice them up, get them all ready for the week. Um, there I am cutting some cucumbers. I'll leave two of them out for my salads for the week if I want to eat a salad or want to put them in anything else. That's some celery I'm cutting up to put in the vegetable bags for the week. And then some peppers I always leave out pretty much half of each pepper just because I'll put it in my omelets or some other type of recipe for the week. There's me just showing you some tomatoes. I'm going to throw all this stuff in these baggies and then that way I can just grab them and go when I'm headed out the door for work. I'll take my plain Greek yogurt and my ranch seasoning pack, mix it together and make dip and I'll put that on the side with those. Then I'm going to cut up an onion and peppers. I'll use that for omelets or whatever on the side this week. All right, so um, some other snacks that I take. Um, I get these a lot. They are um, Light and Fit the Greek. Um, I, I have like three different ones that I like a lot, but 
I like these. This is the one I got this week, or I had left over. I had two of them left over. And then um, fat-free cottage cheese. Um, sometimes I'll do 1%, 2%, whatever. I don't know. Um, so those are good snacks. And then this is the plain non-fat Greek yogurt. And then um, I'll bring these the vegetables um, with me. So I'll put these. I have a little teeny container that I'll put that in for um, a snack. I eat that every day, guaranteed. Um, I love that mix. Um, I'll usually take one or two hard-boiled eggs with me. And then I'll take fruit and sometimes I'll put the fruit in my yogurt. Sometimes I won't. Sometimes I'll even bring a pack of um, plain oatmeal and put this in with um, some brown sugar. Just depends um, on the day. And then... This is my new favorite that I talked about in a previous video. I've been taking these uh, 38 grams of these and I make sure I measure it out because if I don't, I will definitely overeat these. Mm -mm -mm. They're so good. They're the ranch zesty um, veggie straws. They're delicious and I'll take one um, light cheese stick or these are regular, I think maybe. I don't know either way, whatever. Um, and then I'll take um, one of these packs. I always, always, always have these with me. Um, people laugh because I'll carry this and um, graham crackers in my uh, gym bag. Because you never know when you're going to get hungry. People are crazy. So then uh, the next um, things that I have are some leftover stuff um, for my vegetables that I topped up for the week. So these, this is just an onion I had left over that I chopped up. So then that way, um, if I'm going to have an omelet or I'm going to make a taco salad, whatever, um, I could throw that in there. It's already chopped. It's fast. It's quick. That way it saves me time. Um, peppers, same thing. I'll chop these up and put them in my omelets or um, salads, whatever. Same with these um, cucumbers. I left two of them like this because I'll cut them up in like... Um, what do they call them, like dimes or nickels, you know, you know, like where it's circle to put it in my salad. <laughs> and then I have some spaghetti squash that I'll probably um, only use this. I don't know. I say that and then I mix it up. But I thought about taking this um, bonza pasta. If you haven't tried it, um, I recommend it. It's really, really good. Um, and then some spaghetti squash, and that way it gives you a filler. Um, oh, yeah, and I also have um, spinach and lettuce. I just didn't want to take it out to wield it. I always have that in my fridge, always. Never, ever ha not have that. Um, so I'll put these two together, and then I'll take um, the burger. Um, this was 90%, I think, lean burger. And um, put that, I got some spaghetti, so, uh, spaghetti sauce um, that I'll put on that to make like spaghetti. Um, and then these chicken thighs, I marinated them and kind of just like, I don't know, everything but the kitchen sink, I believe. Um, I had trivia brown sugar in there, that barbecue sauce with no sugar at it. Um, onion powder, garlic powder, I don't know, a whole bunch of stuff I seasoned that with. It's really good. Um, some potatoes for a carb. I could eat, you know, these two together. And then, um, some zucchini and uh, squash. Or sometimes, um, I'll get home and I'm just exhausted. And I'll eat chicken thighs and just this with some dip. I mean, it just depends or um, I'll do some, uh, oh my goodness, words, cottage cheese with um, a chicken thigh and um, that squash or this with the squash and the cottage cheese or um, the burger with the rice and then um, some spaghetti squash or zucchini with some hot sauce dumped on top. Woo, good. I mean, delicious. So, I'm trying to think if I forgot anything else. Um, oh, I did. One second. Okay, so, I go through different phases of um, protein bars. I have these two that I um, 
Oh yeah, actually I have, <laughs> I have a couple different things to show you out of this drawer. These are like my bar type things that I like and I'll go in and out of them. Um, my dad gets me these. They're like the Quest bars. Um, I have the chocolate chip cookie dough one and then a um, chocolate uh, peanut butter chunk one and then the cookies and cream one. But I will say with these, they're good. I like them, but you have to um, put them in a microwave for a couple seconds. Like I'll do like 10 seconds and they're really good. Um, so there's those. This is not a protein bar that I'm about to show you. I just love these and I snack on them. A lot of times when I get done um, my first workout of the day, I'll come upstairs and drink my coffee and eat me one of these. Um, I love these guys. They are uh, the Fiber One Coffee Cake. They have a bunch of different ones, but right now I'm on the Coffee Cake Kick one. And then um, I was on Built Bar for the longest time. I really like Built Bar. I recommend those too. They're delicious. Cold, like if you're leaving the gym or whatever, um, you can eat them and they're good like that. Or you can put them in the microwave and they're good too. I've ate them like that. But um, one of my girls that I train loves um, Bell or uh, Bear Ball. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Shoo! Bear Bell. Bear Bell bars oh my goodness but anyway so she let me try one i tried to get the holiday one and um they trying to find all the ones that i have um, i must have ate the other one yeah but um so i got this um variety box of them um and my nails are still so bad i didn't get to go because it snowed but anyway um so these came, or these, you know, I got these a while ago, and I love them. Now, calorie-wise, they're, you know, up there, but I really don't. So with Weight Watchers, they give you fit points, and I usually eat my fit points. There's a lot of them. So it just depends, because some days I'm like, oh, heck no, because I can get a lot of fit points in a day because I do a, almost an hour workout in the morning and then if I have a personal training clients sometimes I work out with them and then I teach class in the evening work out again so I get a lot and I walk the dog so um it'll give me a lot and I usually listen to my body whether or not I want to eat that many points or whatever so to each their own if you know if you don't want to eat them then you know but I I eat mine the majority of the time because I know that I want to binge eat if I don't. So anyway, um, I'll take one of these bars too. And I usually, there's cookies and cream one. Like I said, I really want the holiday crisp one. It was out of stock forever. It came back in stock and I missed it. Even though the girl that recommended it um, told me I was busy and didn't get to look it up. So um, this one's uh, Caramel Cashew. It's my favorite. And, well, I don't know because this one, I don't know. They're all good, but um, then the chocolate uh, cookie dough. So I always pack one of these too. So just depends on what all I eat that day, what I'm craving or whatever. So I really hope this helps you guys. And um, I really hope you're doing good. If you're doing WW or whatever you're doing, I hope you're sticking to it. And um, I really just wish you guys the best. And if there's anything that I could ever do, please reach out. I'm really good about responding. And um, it might take me a little bit. Um, some of the girls laugh because there's a meme that says, like, it takes either 0.2 seconds or, uh, what is it, <laughs> five business days for me to get back to you. And sometimes that is the case, but I will get back to you eventually. So I am very busy, but I do my best. So sometimes my best is right there. And sometimes my best is a couple days. I'm really sorry if, you know, if you're waiting on me to respond to you. Um, I, you know, I have a personal life too. So sometimes I'll turn off my stuff to spend time with my family. So like I said, I hope you enjoy this and please be sure to like and subscribe guys. Until next time, see ya. Thank you.